making wine here in Oregon, I feel a great sense of pride, but also I feel a duty. And I think most people here have this, this level of integrity where it's a duty that anyone who has a glass of Oregon wine in their hand, it should be good. My name's Adam Campbell. I'm Claire Carver. Anna Matzinger. Maria Ponzi. Harry Peterson Nedry. It's a hyphenated last name. Pinot Noir, I think, was pushed here by people who were very passionate to find a different place to grow grapes. We arrived on our property when I was three years old and we lived in a trailer. And, and really, we got teased for, for planting wine grapes. Your parents must be crazy and you guys are hippies and I'm sure you smoke a lot of pot. They had to be a little bit crazy to, uh, to take that risk. It is not that easy to grow grapes, and particularly Pinot Noir is a bit finicky. If it's too warm, if it's too cold, if it's too rainy, uh, Pinot Noir just doesn't work. Oregon was discovered because it has the right climate. A climate that really mimicked what is found in Northern Europe. It's got rivers, mountains, the sea, tectonic plates. It's been a place of coming together for a very, very long time. We're on the frontier. Uh, and when you're on the frontier, you basically watch each other's back. We also need one another as neighbors and we're quite helpful and open. I would go to a neighbor's house and I'd come home with like five jars of stuff out of their freezer and stuff from their garden. There's more hugging probably here. <laughs> the thing that's really special about Oregon is we're not trying to be something that we're not. You know, I don't dress up when I host people. I am often have, you know, poo on my boots during a wine tasting. We're now at the stage being over 50 years old as a growing region. We don't need to compare ourselves against other people. You basically show who you are and what you've got in the bottle. We make fantastic Pinot Noir, arguably some of the best in the world. Burgundy is still the mothership. I still kind of bow down to her every morning. When I really think about what the best vineyard in Oregon is, I think it's probably some place that hasn't even been planted yet. I would really hope that in 25, in 50 years, that uh, we'd have a vibrant third and fourth generation wine growing families carry on their parents' and grandparents' legacy. I keep coming back to it. I thought I would be done with it a long time ago. But I think it almost calls me more than I call it. It's unique every year. You know, every year you're getting another chance to do it right, to do it better, to do it, I don't know, to have the stars align and to produce something magical. We just need the world to drink a little more Pinot Noir and we'll all be fine.